Okay. So now I'm back. YouTube, what up? <coughs> Been a little minute, not really. Um, I just want to give y'all a little video on the high kappa. You know what I mean? I've got it up and going and shit like that. Been having some fun with it, chilling. Uh, I think initially when I got it, I didn't know some things, like you know what I mean. So, but I, I learned in the course of the time of having it, obviously. So I told you I took my shit to Collinswood to figure some things out, and I did. Um, it's one or two things that could be an issue, and one of the issues being um, it could be something wrong with the upper. You know what I'm saying? Because when I took it up there, the issue was uh. The gas, the gas wasn't like staying in the magazine or it was like too much of it was coming out or something like it wasn't efficient or some shit like that. So what I wound up doing was, you know, I, I took it up there. They had some gas. They shot it a couple times, figure out what the issue was and shit like that. And then after that, um, brought it back to the crib, you know what I mean? And tested it out for myself. And I feel like like a part of the problem was, well, most of the problem was like, you gotta like slide this little thing off right here. You gotta slide that off. Then you can add gas. You know what I mean? And I'm gonna get to that in a minute. I wanna get to your, uh to my tracer. So I got an Ace Tech tracer, right? Ace Tech lighter BT. I don't know if it like you can see it on the the right way, like or whatever, because it's reversed or whatever. But this is an Ace Tech lighter BT. You know what I mean? And it's pretty cool because. I got it because I wanted to really run um, red and green BBs and shit like that. And uh, this was like one of the only traces on the market that really carried the red and the um, green LED light in the inside. So I was like, fuck it. I'm going to go ahead and just get this one. My was a couple years old and there's newer ones on the, on the uh, market at this point. But the coolest thing about this one, though, it got a, co a couple different colors, but it got flat, dark earth and it got a uh, matte black it didn't just got regular black i just got regular black and um it got a chrono in it meaning that like if you download the ace tech app on your phone and then um connect the bluetooth because that's what the bt stands for it stands for bluetooth and you connect the um the app along the side with the tracer itself and um you can eventually like uh find out your fps you know what I mean? Well, it doesn't matter what gun it is, as long as you got 14 millimeter or 11 millimeter uh, threads on your own um, barrel, you should be able to um, put it on your gun or whatever. So you could just test your FPS. So like, just in case like a field is like 350 FPS or outdoor field is like 400 FPS or whatever it is, you can chrono it. You know what I mean? And then after that, of course, the field probably gonna wanna chrono it itself just to make sure, but you can chrono it before going just so you can have your shit right at the right pace you need to be at you know what i mean before you gotta waste your time and slow down and have to change your shit out at the field and you know what i mean you don't want to have to change your fps and shit like while you're on the field that's why it's just slowing your game down so it's just like you don't want to do that so i'm gonna just get to the fun shit all right so um magazine green gas you know what I'm saying? red I don't, what are these blaster tracer bbs i don't necessarily i think it's okay asg action sport games this is the people that make these red bbs and they're really nice like i heard like a lot of different brand uh a lot of different brand um red bbs don't really do that well like i heard they do uh like real low light like, you know what i mean they don't glow like how they should and i think a part of that is because the quality of the bbs and it could be the tracer in my opinion but i could be wrong you never know depending on how much you pay for a tracer like that i think that's probably one of the best tracers on the market it was like 100 bucks not really bad for a tracer but if you really want for everything that it comes with red green light um was chrono and um yeah, supports green and red green uh red BBs and green BBs and has a chrono on it. I think that's gonna be like one of the best tracers you're gonna get for the buck. So alright. On with that shit. I'm gonna go ahead and put the uh math out before I even do that. Because I think the issue with my magazine, if I didn't finish saying that, was either it's something wrong with the upper or the magazine itself is releasing too much gas. Because they say 
I think my magazine hold about 25 shots, 20, 25 to 30 shots. And say you should be able to get two full magazines in before having to reload gas. And I think I'm only getting maybe like one. You know what I'm saying? I'm not 100% sure, but it's like one. So it could be their upper problem, like the upper part of the... Whew, that was that was close. Probably like the upper part of the chamber, like the upper. Or it has something to do with the gas magazine itself. Very replaceable, interchangeable, easy shit. Not really a problem. So that's a good thing. Um, one more thing. I could take this off. The one good thing about this uh, high cap that I end up getting, the one good thing about it is I could take this off. And it's like I could add the um, the 11 millimeter threads to my um, to my tracer. And I don't got to have this orange piece peeking. I could just put it on the inside of it. You know what I mean? Or you could just have this on here. You know what I mean? Because every uh, high capper doesn't necessarily cover the, a threaded barrel. Sometimes you got to get the extension or, you know what I mean, the barrel modification or whatever. This one already came with the thread, so it's like on there. Or you could just screw it in there because this orange piece is threaded itself. So that means you could just put the piece that comes with the tracer itself, like the, um, the little barrel extension, and just put it on there itself and just not have this on. Or you could choose to use this, whatever you like to do. You know what I mean? So, <clears throat> what I'm going to just do real quick, I'm going to put a couple BBs in here. I don't want to really use my red BBs up too much before I hit the field, but I've just been running like little fun little protests around the house. You know what I mean? Just keeping the, trying to keep the channel with content. You know what I mean? Double dual stack magazine as well, meaning like it holds, like it don't just stand straight up. So it's like, it's just like a dual stack mag. So you could get more in there for your buck. So I'm just throwing these in here. I'm gonna give y'all a whole mag. I'm gonna give y'all a whole mag. God damn. Motherfucker, I go in, I wanna go in. Okay. Oh. Shot back at. I wish I could use like a speed loader with this shit, but that's more for like mid cap magazines. Mid cap meaning like whole like in between like what 80 and 120. And then like high cap is like uh, my G36C that holds like about probably two, 300 shots. All you gotta do is just wind a little, a little wind cable at the end and that should just little twister and that should just go all the way up easy money that's what the mag look like so far if you can see that i don't know how well my phone's picking it up but they got like the little swiggle you know what i'm saying like that then after that i just keep putting it in keep adding bbs yes yeah, I, I, I figured you turn your music off because you was worried about what I was doing. What you doing? All right, so listen to your music. I'm trying to make a video. That's all. You interrupted me. I'm not bothering you. And I'm not going to cut my video for this neither because this is great content right now. Bye. Like, we're so worried about what I'm doing. I'm down here talking to myself trying to make a video. You worried about what I'm doing. Oh, I ain't put the gas in. All right, so this is what the mag looks like. You get what I'm saying? That's what the mag looks like. Um, now you add gas. If now it's supposed to make like a hissing sound, like shh, you know what I mean. But you know what is coming in. You might see it spray out a little bit. If it's spraying out, if this gas is spraying out, it don't. It's, it's not going in right. You're supposed to hold it down. It's gonna make a hissing noise. Once the hissing noise stop, it should be good to go. Now, before I even put the gas in. I'm going to do everything the fast way because if I really got a leak in my magazine, I'm not about to have gas waiting to be shot. So what I'm going to do is... It's a little chill. I'm going to put the tracer back on. Show you what that looks like. Now, this is counterclockwise turning. So that means it's not the typical way you will put or twist something on. And that's something I had to figure out because I damn near broke my um TK45 not knowing that so okay 
some 007 shit. You know what I'm saying? Got that on there. So now, last but not least, let me put the top back on these EVs. Last but not least, put the uh, the cap back. Oh, I put the cap back on. I ain't putting the fucking gas in. So now we put the gas in. All right. Hissing noise. Don't post it. Make sure to keep away from your eyes, mouth, blah, blah, blah. Okay. See that? See how there's nothing coming up? It's making that gas noise? Nah, it, should, it should be filled with gas at this point. It should be filled with gas. Okay. See? Now, we're going to get some low light situations. I don't know if the camera is picking that up, but that looks, you see how like bright that is like that? So we could get some, uh, some. See? It's like some type of shortage in the magazine because there's no way it could run out of gas that fast. So, got to take it somewhere or figure out if it's the magazine itself you know what i mean probably take it back to the shop and uh go get it looked at run some test fires because yeah it's still bullets in here or ammunition in here don't know how well the camera is set up right now but <clears throat> i don't know uh yeah i don't know what the pro actual problem is all the best i could do is uh take it back to the shop i want to get an upper put on it anyway like a different color upper maybe like a barrel so probably before i end up taking it back i'll probably get like something to add on to it just so like if you're going to take it all apart at least you could put it back together with some pretty nice parts and make it look some type of pretty because you know i want to make this high cap look nice it's a 4.3 it's not a lot of uh it's not a lot of um options for them because like any good options that there was is probably like sold out and like the 5.1 is out now and i'll probably get one in the future like a 5.1 but i liked it the 4.3 a little more because it was uh it was like more compact you know what i mean but the the, the 5.1 definitely has a lot of good uh upgrades and shit like that so i probably get a tokyo M M marua i don't know how, exactly how to say it tokyo something and um i've been looking at that one that was really nice and uh, that's really it, man. Gotta go just find out if it's the upper receiver or if it's just a, um, a, a, um, a magazine problem. You know what I'm saying? I really don't know. Let's see. Yeah, it's fresh out of gas. Yeah, I don't know, man. Kind of bothers me. I, I mean... When I first got it and didn't fit, like really know everything, again, probably messed it up. I dropped the magazine outside. So that's that could be part of the problem. You know what I mean? But I don't know. Got to go take it to figure it out. I just wanted to show y'all what that looked like. Uh, shooting it or whatever. Because I've been saying like I was going to put like uh, content with the tracer on it and shit like that. I'm going to probably wind up getting another BT tracer. Or just another tracer in general, in, in general, in general, probably like uh, maybe like another Ace Tech or some other one because before it's all said and done, I gotta get a, uh, I gotta get a CQB gun. That's basically like an indoor gun. Wrong way. I'm getting an indoor gun, and um, my my rifle that I got now, my TK45, is an outdoor gun because the springs are um, a little tight, so the FPS. It's like 370 to the uh 370 to like the 400 range fps and um that's pretty high for indoor like you know what i mean so i was probably going um i was probably going to get like another tracer and another uh indoor gun because um uh, you got your gun for indoor gotta be three uh 350 and i got a, a little group or whatever a couple guys that uh i'll be talking to that play um airsoft and shit and i just got to get a feel for if they play like more indoor or outdoor like when it get warm i know the outdoor games are going to come 
but um it's a lot more fun to in the indoor environment it's, it looks a lot more fun and everything that i see from youtube it looks a lot more fun because you get to use your tracers and you know what i mean you could use like your high cappers and whatnot because like those guns like like these pistols got a low fps is like i think like 270 275 not even 300 so like it's really good for you know close quarter uh, um, close to mid quarter combat so that's like indoor whereas the outdoor like mill sim games and shit like that it's like mid to like far range more so so um yeah i gotta get another gun i got i got a, i got my eyes on something that I'm, i want to get i'm working on something it's like in a 350 400 dollar range real nice gun you know what i mean and that's what i want to do my uh i want to do my double trigger build but i don't know if i'm gonna be able to do it because somebody somebody told me at one of the air shops that you gotta like build it from the ground up because of the engine and all that but i don't believe that i don't think it's really that hard so i gotta figure that out i gotta find a speed soft shop that knows more about that so we can really tap in with that and that's really it i'll probably get another bt like i said or another one just in general and um yeah because i'm gonna probably need two traces in itself anyway maybe even three i'm not gonna get a whole bunch two or three at the most because you could just alternate them at that point as long as you got like two or three you should be good but um yeah man that's really it i've been like a low you know low key i still gotta make a couple moves so i could get my money back up and going get another job and shit like that i've just been kind of like letting my hair down chill i've been chilling this week or whatever gotta get back on the ball next week so you know what i mean i could get things back rolling and so i could keep delivering the content and shit like that you know so that's really it man it'll help a lot if you liked you know what i mean help the algorithm you know what i mean so this could pop up on more people feed like i said this is going to be a journey i'm down here in my basement as you can see just chilling man like this is raw footage you heard me talking to my mom i ain't sugarcoating nothing for y'all because this is what it's gonna be until shit really get to where it's supposed to be like you know what i mean i ain't sugarcoating nothing for y'all man there's me me for me i told you that so just trying to you know stay consistent and make the you know the youtube thing like a more relevant thing and just keep it flowing man and that's really it man so like comment subscribe it sounds so washed up so we're gonna have to work on something better than just saying like comment subscribe we're gonna have to figure something out like but like i said if you actually like you know what i'm saying subscribe definitely get those numbers up you know what i mean viewership up shit like that and i'd appreciate it man and that's it for today's video